Hey team, in this video, I'm very excited to show you Miro's methodology. So basically we're gonna be going from ideation, so brainstorming sticky notes to a structured products requirement documents, and then feeding that into our AI tool of choice by using MCP and basically enabling AI to do the rest. So let me jump in. We, we're gonna use this template that's currently public on our Mirrorverse. We can just click use template and then we add it to whatever team we um, are in. So basically here's my working board um, I've already done some brainstorming here, and I know I want to have a simple app for uh, managers, a app that can kind of go and approve expenses very easily for managers. So I've already done my brainstorming. Uh, and then now what I can do is use Miro AI to take all of these sticky notes, uh, and then we're going to basically tell AI to generate us a PRD based on of these sticky notes. So let's do that now. So we can ask Miro AI to uh, create a document and then we can create a custom prompt and just say something like, uh, use these stickies to create me a product. So as you can see, um, we're basically creating this nice um, PRD in, in real time. So that's also really nice. Um, and then we'll see kind of the key features and the core, core value prop and the target users. So that looks pretty good to me. Uh, so you can see it has two views, one for employee, one for manager. And the main thing we're going to be working on is expense submission. So OCR uh, scanning. So once we upload a receipt, we should be able to uh, scan that automatically and be able to read the amount on the receipt. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. So basically, um, we've done our brainstorming. The next is turning uh, into a PRD. We've done that. And now let's go ahead and visualize our uh, app. So we can go ahead and basically use Mirror AI um, here. We're going to basically go ahead and create a diagram and we're going to be uh, doing a flowchart and we're going to be using this uh, object as our uh, context. So using the PRD document I've selected, go ahead and create a basic flowchart of the app flows, user flows, focusing in on expense approval and OCR. So you can kind of see um, here's kind of the main flow. So verified extracted data. So it's like, you know, capture receipt with camera, takes a photo, process the image, verify the data, add expense details, submit expense report, notify manager. So I think this looks pretty good. We have some expense approval decisions. We can either approve, reject, request additional info, notify status, push notification. So this looks pretty good. So now we have all the context we need. So now that we've aligned with our team, we've ensured that everything in our mirror board is what we want to use for context for this project. We can now tell MCP to read the context of this board programmatically and then implement an app based on that. So let's do that. You can see I have my mirror MCP server set up. These are the five tools that we'll be using to implement the app. And I'm just connecting it again to make sure it's all ready to go. And here is my config file. So let's go ahead and prompt. So what we're going to say is to use the boards list items and other MCP tools to read the context on this mirror board. So you can see it's the one uh, we were working on before, E-F-I-K. E implement an app running locally that can test out quickly. Make sure to follow the purity exactly as is shown on the board. Um, add all new working code in a new folder called Kira Demo. So let's test it out. Great. So now Kiro has finished implementing the app and now I'm ready to test it out. So what we can do now is actually um, run npm start, which you just did, and open localhost. And now here is the app. It has a nice login, both for employees and for managers. I'm going to log in as an employee first. And then I'll just click on this capture receipt button. And you can see that basically in this receipt, uh, it's $29.69. And I'm going to submit it. And you can see it was 2969 from company name. That's exactly correct. Uh, and now I can also log in as a manager. So as a manager, you can see I have one pending approval. My team currently has none, no spending and no approvals this month, but I can approve it. 
and that will automatically, you know, show my uh, team spending for the month. We have a category breakdown. This, of course, would look better if I had more expenses here, but I think you get the point. So really nice way to use Kiro and Miro MCP to be able to like take board context and then create an app from it. I hope this was helpful and thanks so much for watching.